What's up everybody, it's me John, FreeHunter45 and today I have a review of the Reborn 1100 Ifrit Custom. Now, the Ifrit Custom is a suit that was made from the Ifrit. The only difference is that this Ifrit Custom has the exam system. Uh, for those of you who do not know, the exam system is a really advanced computer that increases the performance of a mobile suit to the point that it seems like it's being piloted by a new type. So the Ifrit originally was a better version of the Goof. And this better version of the Goof received an upgrade in the form of the exam system and thus became the Ifrit Custom that you see right now. So the Ifrit Custom is from the graphic novel or should I say the manga Gundam Blue Destiny where both Xeon and Federation are testing new technologies to implement into mobile suit for combat purposes. So let's talk about articulation. Now, the head of this kit has pretty decent rotation wise articulation. It turns left and right as much. The, and it goes up and down as a little bit. And I want to show you this. Whoops. This is how you move the mono eye in this game. There's this little peg here that you can move, and the mono eye will move along with it. You can see there, and there. Oh, it's back in the center again. There. See? The mono eye has moved. Let's put it back in the middle before putting it back onto the kit. Now, the shoulders will move forward that much and up this far and the shoulder armors are on a individual ball joint the elbows will bend ah damn okay one problem with this kit everything wants to fall off I'll just remove his sabers here Okay, this is starting to become a disaster. One of my lights fell down. Okay, where were we? Yes, the problem with this kit. Let me zoom out a little bit. Everything wants to fall off. Especially the thorns or the spikes on the shoulder. They're not, uh, they're not flimsy, or they're not poorly connected. The problem lies within the design. Not the design of this connector, but the design of the arm, the shoulder, and the shoulder armor. See, every time the shoulder... gonna have to kneel down there every time the shoulder armor hits the inner shoulder that part is gonna come off let me demonstrate the back part okay surprisingly it doesn't come off the front part hmm okay weird yeah there you go 
and the front one see both of them just drop out just like that so I'm not gonna leave them on they're quite a pain to have them falling off time and time again so I'll just leave them off for the review oops bump my camera there Okay, so back to articulation, elbows, bend at two parts, double jointed elbow, hands will move in a ball jointed fashion, and arms will rotate underneath the shoulders. Now, the fancy thing about this is the shoulder connected to the torso. As you can see, it has a joint that comes out and an armor piece that follows it. It's pretty, pretty cool for a reborn kit. Now, waist movement is hindered by these pipes so you're not gonna get much waist movement kit does go forward leans forward and leans backward that much and skirt armor goes up that far the side ones can't really move they just do a slight wiggle Thanks to these heat pipes. And let's go to the legs. Now the legs are connected to this joint, which goes round and round and up that way, providing really good articulation for the legs. And they also have this. It allows the leg to go forward like that. As you can see. Back in place. And forward. You can use that mechanism to pull off some really fancy poses. Like this one. As if he's strolling through the park. Okay, back to articulation, the feet, not the feet, the legs will rotate all the way around underneath the hips thanks to that hip joint it will go out that far and forward that far the knees will bend slightly not not fantastic or anything but it's pretty good just enough these rocket pods will turn all the way around and you can remove them if you don't want them this armor piece here does not move These thrusters do not move as well. And the uh, foot. The foot is rather special. Since this is a ground attack mobile suit, you're gonna have him standing in all sorts of weird poses. So the feet is a double jointed ankle joint which goes side to side as so and goes forward that much and back that much I think I'll just separate the leg seems like he wants to fall off back that much and the toes go forward it's 
slightly. Now, let's move on to sorry about that now let's move on to the accessories and weapons that the Freed custom has now since this is a ground combat suit as mentioned earlier you're not gonna get much here's the can't say they're beam sabers because they're not beams they're basically superheated Beam swords, just like the goof, just like the one the goof has. I mean, but the thing that is really weird with most of these heat sabers and heat hawks, well, mainly heat sabers, is that they're always molded in clear plastic. It's like they're always on and they're always hot. The problem with this is that you'll be placing these on his back and they can move like that oh and by the way the skirt armor the back skirt does go up that much to reveal some joints so back to the heat sabers you're leaving them on the back like that and if this was a real world situation something hot enough thousand degree knife on your back swinging around it's not gonna be safe it's definitely gonna cut into the mobile suit so I was wondering why they did not include a solid colored sword solid colored swords for like you know when the sword is off so that's for the weapon I mean the melee weapon that he has in his forearm are two rockets rocket grenades and on his calves are these missile pods really large missile pods to give this suit a, a proper advantage against long-range suits I guess Now that's it for the accessories and parts. Oh, one more thing. They do give you closed fists. Two closed fists for the left and right. So there's one complaint. If you haven't guessed it, where are the open hands? Okay, maybe most reborn kids do not have uh, a variety of hands and you might end up having to buy articulated hands the 1100 articulated hands I think they were made by Kotobukiya or something yeah so you might end up buying those and placing them on the kit since you only have these hands for holding the sword and those closed hands. So speaking of holding the sword, let's make him hold some swords then. As you can see, I haven't connected the lower part of the arm, I mean of the hand, fist, and the sword is already attached. They do this by... well, they don't do anything actually. They, they achieve this by making the handle of the sword fit exactly into the palm of this hand so it's a secure fit no no pegs or anything to hold on but it's pretty secure as you can see it's not gonna fall or anything it's not gonna shake or rattle within the hands let's get it on his right hand now
there you have him. Armed to the teeth and ready to fight. So let's get some size comparison. Bear with me while I go pick up another 1-100 scale kit. Now, this is him next to the 1100 Master Grade Shar Zaku 2 version 2.0. And here's the other reborn kit that I have. The Gerbera. So yeah, the Ifrit is a pretty sizable kit. Pretty large. This kit does come with a large sheet of decals for markings. You can see Xeon logo, exam system, exam system and some random markings some foil stickers for the eyes and cameras that's all you get a connector which I believe is for the action base because putting this guy on action base would be a pretty good idea Especially if you have a lot of fighting poses that you want to put him in. So, my final thoughts of the kit. It looks superb. The detail on the kit is very nice. A lot of panel lining ability. I only panel line half of the kit because there's just too many panel lines. Articulation is pretty good for a reborn kit. And yeah, mainly that's it. Articulation, detail is satisfactory, and the kit looks superb. It's a nice looking mobile suit. So, I guess that's about it for my review of the Reborn 1 100 Ifrit Custom. I hope to see you guys again in my next video, whenever it may be. See you around. Bye.